Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very cool hidden feature which can enable or disable the transition effect when you unlock your phone. This is available right from One UI 2.0 up to One UI 4.1. This is an amazing feature which is hidden in the settings and it can make your unlock transition effect look much better. Now let's not waste your precious time. Let's dive right into it. Now, as you can see here, when I unlock the phone, there is no transition effect whatsoever. There is no animation. There is no transition here. It straight away jumps into the home screen. Now let's go to settings. Let's tap on biometrics and security. Here we have more biometric settings. Let's tap on this. As you can see, we have a switch or a toggle here, which says show unlock transition effect. Now let's enable this. Now let's lock the phone and unlock it. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we have got a very cool transition effect, which smoothly takes us into the home screen. That is just fantastic, isn't it? A very cool unlock transition effect for your Samsung phones. Now this doesn't stop here. Let's go ahead and enhance the transition effect and make it look much, much smoother. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on developer options. Here, let's scroll down and search for transition animation skill. That's here. By default, we have 1x animation. Now what we will do is we will increase it to maybe 1.5 or 2x. I will just select 2x. Now let's lock the phone and unlock it to see the transition effect. As you can see, it looks much more fluid and very smooth. Quite pleasing to the eyes, isn't it? But I think 1.5x transition animation scale would be much better. Let's go back and select 1.5x. Now let's go to home screen, lock the device and unlock it. And this is what we have here. Doesn't it look amazing? Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below. Now keep in mind, when you change the transition effect, it gets applied throughout the system. So if you don't want that to happen, you can leave it at default settings. That's about it. That's all I want to share in this video. I hope you are already a part of Apex community. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find this useful. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.